What's up guys, Coach Steve here, Know That Training. All right, today we are going to introduce our first program, which is ball handling and footwork. It's gonna be released on the Know That app. All right, so what we're gonna cover is the foundation of footwork and the basic change of directions and different types of dribbles you can do to be successful in today's game. All right, so key characteristics to a great ball handler. We're gonna start from the bottom up. All right, the first thing we wanna look at is their base. All right, their feet are shoulder are wider than shoulder width. All right, so we have the ability to go side to side. All right, and we have this ability to kind of push off and explode. All right, next, we wanna be on our toes. So we're here so we can actually explode by the defender when we decide to make a move. And we're in this position when we step forward to push off and go. All right, last but not least, we're gonna have our torso at a, almost at a 45 degree angle or over our knees. Why? Because we wanna be in the optimal position once again to either drive or be able to move in a quick manner to be successful to get by the defender or just create opportunities for yourself. All right, so I'm gonna go fast with it. I'm gonna go three, let's say three, and go just our speed stop. So we're here, drop, one, two. And I'm gonna keep my dribble going. All right, drop, one, two. Last one, drop, one, two. Okay, so that's our speed stop. All right, now, like I just said, to make it more advanced, you can add moves to it. All right, so I'm gonna go to the left really quickly and I'm gonna go, the most common speed stop is the behind, in my opinion. This is my opinion because I use it the most in terms of just how I stop. So I'm gonna drop on my left, right, left, right? This is our speed stop. Now when you add a move on your second step, you do that move. All right, so speed stop behind. So one, two, speed stop behind. One, dribble step on my second step behind. All right, so you see that, that's the speed stop behind. So I'm gonna do three of those, going to my left. Drop, one, two and then come back one more time. Here, one, two. All right, I'm gonna go into this more in detail when we go into our more advanced, our advanced footwork, our advanced change of direction uh, series and, and, and programs, but this is what I wanna show you. This is a very a foundation footwork to stop, and like I just said, I don't, you don't have to follow me, you can just take this, grow and be creative. All right, so give this some time, focus on the details, and add this for your foundation to help you become the best ball handler you can be. All right, so the last part of our foundation is being able to actually stop. All right, there's different ways to actually stop in basketball, and I try to keep it simple where it's just either a jump stop or I call a one-two speed stop. All right, so what we're gonna go over right now is the one-two speed stop. All right, and what we're gonna do it out of is our drop, and then we're just gonna stop forward. So I'm gonna start back a little bit for the camera, all right, and then I'm just gonna move forward and come back. All right, so how I'm gonna start is in my drop, I'm gonna take one or two dribbles, boom. Now, our one, two speed stop is exactly how it sounds. You're gonna go one step, and then on your second step, you stop. All right, so how we break it down is I'm gonna go one, so my dribble step, which is opposite of the ball, right? Dribble step, and then stop with my second step. All right, one more time. This is called a speed stop, all right? Drop, one, two. And you see I'm squeaking my foot to, uh, hitting my foot on the ground so where it squeaks so I can stop. 